Well, hello everybody, my name is Sergey, and I've been kiting for about five years, uh, actually more like eight. And uh, time came to uh, update my lines on one of my bars, and I've decided uh, to go custom. So it turns out not that easy to choose your lines for your bar, there's all kinds of options out there. And, uh, you know, these lines are quite amazing little things. You know, they say that uh, a line like this will hold 800 pounds or 1,000 pounds, some enormous numbers. So what I wanted to do uh, is to test some lines and uh, actually see uh, what kind of weight they can hold. Uh, in addition to that, I uh, wanted to see if they are going to stretch and by how much they will stretch. So so for, for testing, I have this very simple rig. I have a... Uh, bolt style winch that will give you about 1500 pounds of force all you do is you crank it and just put your, put your energy into this i have a scale this is a thousand kilogram scale so it's about 2000 pounds and as you can see uh, battery is good it's calibrated so if i pull on this it's going to give us a reading of how many pounds of force is being applied and I have a ruler here, so that will give us a, an idea of uh, how much the lines stretch. And to attach the lines, I use standard uh, uh, line connectors uh, that I use on my kite as well. Well, let's go. Let's give it a try, see what happens. Alright, so now we're going to test a DC, Lira's DC kite lines. This is 0 0.83 millimeters and it's supposed to hold about 170 kilos, which is about 340 pounds. Let's see if we can get some measurements on, uh, on uh, elasticity as well, if it's going to stretch and by how much if it does. So right now we are at exactly six and a half inches. At zero, five pounds at six and a half. Okay, let's crank it up. 20, 40, 60, 70, 90, 150 or so. So we are at six and a half and 116, just at 116. Six and a half and one sixteen. Okay, let's keep cranking it. High twenty, hundred forty, hundred fifty, hundred eighty, ninety, two hundred, two hundred twenty, hundred thirty, forty, fifty, six. All right, so we broke at about 300 and some pounds. Inside the loop, the line broke. Uh, interesting. So 0 0.83 line is uh, gave us 300 some pounds and it broke at the loop. And this line is, this line is 200 kilos, which is about 400 pounds. Let's see how it does. And stretch wise, six and a half and one eighths, six and five eighths. So this is uh, red, six and five eighths, zero. Okay, let's crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. 100, and we are at. Hmm, still the same. Okay, six and five eighths at hundred. Six and five eighths. Okay, crank it. Three hundred 
300. Mm -hmm. Six and three quarters. 300. Six and three quarters. Okay. Four hundred. Still about the same. Six and three quarters. Uh, six, eight, seven, eight, six and seven eighths. Six and seven eighths. Okay. Okay, crank it more. Okay, so about 400 pounds. And where did it break? Uh, again, it broke at the loop, as you can see. It broke right here where it's been sewn together. One. So this is 1.3 millimeters, and that's supposed to hold about 300 kilos. It's about 600 pounds. Okay, so lengthwise we are at at three quarters, six eighths, oh, we're about exactly seven inches at zero. So that's our black, and at zero we're at seven inches. Okay, let's crank it up. Okay, 100, 150, 100. Okay, still at 7. 100, still at 7. Okay, 200, 300, and 50. 300, we're still 7 and 1 eighth. 300, 7 and 1 eighth. Okay. Four hundred. Oops, this table ran away from us. 500. Put it on the block here. Okay. Seven and still the same. One eighth. Okay, that's five hundred. All right, so it broke over five hundred. We'll see exactly what it was when we do a hammer review. But where did it break? It broke, again it broke right here at the loop. Okay, so this is the thickest line. Uh, and it's supposed to give us about 400 kilos, which is about 800 pounds. I'll see if I can crank this hard. Okay, so let's see. At zero, we are at about six and, uh, uh, and three eighths. Six and three eighths. So, blue. Blue, not black. Blue at zero, six and three eighths. Okay. At two hundred, we are at six and uh, three eighths, six, seven sixteenths. Six and seven sixteenths. And that is at 200. 
Okay, let's crank it more. 300, four. So at 400, we are at six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. 500, don't run away from me. 600. Seven hundred, seven hundred. We're at six. That's still the same. Six and a half. Okay, seven hundred. So looks like we broke it. Seven hundred plus. And where did we break? Where's our line? So this time we actually broke the line itself. So our loop held together just fine, but what broke is the actual line and it broke where it connects to the pigtail. So as you can see right here it broke. So no, our loops were just fine, but the lines had broke. Well. That's a good data, so we'll uh, put together some averages and uh, and post it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get some more lines and test them again with different kind of different kind of uh, loops. See if uh, if we can get better numbers. Thank you. Bye bye.